Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Nicole with My Crafty Panda. And if you um, remember, we worked on Fat Pat last week and now I want to work on the cover. If you haven't seen the first episode, I guess episode, <laughs> um, of the making of Fat Pat, then I will put a link down um, in the description. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to work on the cover today. I literally haven't done anything to him except for what I showed in the video. And he's still so beautiful. So, but I have a couple ideas. So I have, let's see, I pulled out some of these. Let me put him aside for a second. I pulled out some of these gift bags I had gotten from the Dollar Tree a while ago. Um, and they're so beautiful and I thought they'd make really pretty covers. So I have this one. And they're the same on both the front and back. I have this typewriter. Very cute. Typewriter, phone, alarm clock, bicycle, like the retro type stuff. And then this one's one of my favorites. It says I love you to the moon and back. I think it comes with like a little moon tag. Isn't that cute? I think I got this like a year ago and it's still one of my favorites. So, um, but because of the saying, I don't think like the book would cut off like right about here and that doesn't work for me. And it's unfortunately on both sides. So this one's probably a no. This one would probably work because there's no... Uh, words on it but I'm not really going for this theme like it's more pastel -y, and I feel like he's gonna be so colorful like so much more colorful I mean I guess it would work but it's just not really what I want for him um, and then again same issue like you know wish big is really cute and I wouldn't mind that on there but if I lined it up it would end like right about here even if I did it all the way to the top which there would be holes which wouldn't be a huge deal but again the book ends about here you still see some of the words so I don't think that this one would work but I could use these bags in maybe some of the insides later on because look at the sides isn't that cute I could totally use that in this I have this has this side and then this just continues with the whole galaxy theme it's so beautiful i love it it's so pretty so but i figure bags are a good idea if you have some bags that'll work something that's maybe like more like this one where it doesn't really have any words and it just kind of has a repeating pattern or design something like that would do um, or if you have like part of a picture that would be really pretty um, but I just want to at least show you guys this option even though I don't think it's gonna work for me but then I was thinking okay well I could just use scrapbooking paper so I have you know this one and I was trying to think of something that had more of a simple repeating pattern, not something that's like bam in your face because I'd love to put like maybe another element on the front of it. But, you know, kind of goes with that whole like black binding theme. So it would go right about here. I think that one would be pretty. And I have two because I'll need one for the back as well. And then I saw... I had this one, which again, kind of simple, has a little pop of green, nothing too crazy. Again, very pretty, but I think for this one in particular, because the print is so small and it's still repeating, I feel like it looks a little bit too busy, but here's what that looks like up close. That's really pretty, but I don't think it's going to work for this one. And then lastly, I found this and again really simple with just the pop of green and I I think this is it I think this is what I want I just I just really think it's pretty 
and I think I could still put something on top of it and it not be like crazy and it's still kind of boyish because I as as much as I'm pretty sure the girl the inside is going to be very girly or whatever um my book is a guy so he needs a guy cover <laughs> um I don't have to but I don't know I just feel like I should at least give him like a little bit of a manly outside so I think I'm going to go with this one. So let me just put these others aside. Um, so yeah. And then um, the things I have for glue is I have this Eileen's Tacky Glue I could use. I have glue stick which is always great inside of these, but I don't know about the outside. And then I also have this matte Mod Podge. And I think because the cover is like a little glossy, I'm probably going to use the Eileen's Tacky Glue. It's probably going to be the best option for the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it on first and then cut because I don't feel like measuring. And I just want to make sure that we get this lined up really nicely along the side. I'm just going to start putting the glue on. And I'm just going to make sure I get the edges over here and then I'll add more glue as I make sure that it's lined up. You'll see what I mean here in a second. Um, and then, let me see, I have like one of those credit card thingies here. Like here's like a credit card thingamajigger that you get like in the mail. Just gonna smooth it out a little bit. So it doesn't like have like the very bumpy. Um, Cause you can see like the bumpy texture going through the top. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanna smooth it out a little bit. It's really not that bad. Okay. So then just make sure the pattern is the direction that you want. And I'm not going to line it up at the top or the bottom of the book, like right here or right here, because we'll want to fold it inwards. I'm just going to line it up at the tape. Like so. Smooth it out. And you could use a bone fold too and kind of like smooth it down. I don't think my bone fold is in here right now. I think it's in the kitchen because I need to wash it. It's got paint on it the other day. But, and then you just want to be careful not to crease this. You can smooth it out, but it's just easier if you don't crease the paper. like to make sure I get the edges first and then I'll go like around the inside because I feel like it's more important to get the edges so that when you when you um you know you glue it down those don't lift back up which isn't a huge deal because like I said we're going to be folding it over um so it'll be glued and supported on the other side too but I just like to be careful I guess Plus gluing is fun, so <laughs> I don't mind spending the extra time just putting the glue down, you know. And like I got a little bit of glue on the paper in here. If you're worried about getting glue on your pages. You can always, let's see, take one of these like wax paper or parchment paper and just put it under here to protect your pages. 
which I could have done, but whatever. Just move down. That's probably good enough. And then now carefully I would start, you know, right here and just kind of slowly work your way towards the end of the um, cover. Turn it like this, right easier. Like I got a crease right here. Um, seeing if I can get that out. I may have to add more glue since I'm lifting this back up. If the paper starts to rip like off of your cover, I would just leave it. Like I would just like put it back down the way it was and not worry about that little crease. Um, Honestly, I think I just made it worse, but that's okay. Just trying to get some of the creases out by rubbing it. You can also take a um, piece of cloth, which I did have a washcloth over here somewhere. Here it is. Like a washcloth or like, you know, old art, like art um, cloth, scrap cloth, piece of old t-shirt whatever. It just helps get some of those wrinkles out. Without it like really getting stuck to your finger and possibly ripping, you know what I mean? So like I said, it's not going to be perfect, but it does look a little bit better. And yet I'm still doing it. <laughs> I have this like little inner perfectionist in me that I'm working on letting go because when it comes to art and being a perfectionist sometimes it can really hinder you as an artist. Um, which you know ever since I've discovered junk journaling it has really really helped because it is very just like free and you just like just glue things and kind of let it go and it's it's just nice. So. Anyway, so I have my cover on. Take this side off. So here is what it looks like on the inside. So you see you have a little bit at the bottom, a little bit at the top, and then you have this huge chunk on the side, which you don't want it to be this big. So I will be right back. I need to swap my battery and then we will continue. Okay got that all taken care of so you can take either a pair of scissors and cut some off i'm just gonna take my cutter and it doesn't have to be a particular size i just like to kind of make it this similar size as the top and the bottom um right about there I would say and then you have this extra piece you could use on the inside if you wanted to so and then we have that now take your scissors and cut off some of the corner like that with just not all the way in the corner, like you have like a little bit of space here that you still have some paper, otherwise you'll see the cover when we fold it. And same on the top. And then 
we fold like so and like so and like so and then you will just want to glue these edges down. So I'll probably start at the top and the bottom and then do the east side. Okay, so now we have those down. Now basically what you want is you want to put a um, another piece over this. So I really haven't thought this part out. Maybe I'll put on this one. I mean that would be cute, right? And then the only thing is that you're going to have a little bit of space here and here because that's where you have the tape. So you could either put more scrap paper that looks like this and put it here. Like I have these corners that I had cut off, but it just won't like match up right. Or you could put some more of the black tape on, which I think I may do. I'm not sure yet. Um... I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna put the black tape on, which is over here. My art table is a mess. So here's the tape. I'm just gonna cut a piece off. And let's see, roughly measure out how much you need. Okay, so I have that. I'm just gonna stick it on here. And then cut off this side. to get your string cut in it like me. Now if I cut off a little bit more I could just overlap it but I don't want that weird like weird like edge right there. So I'm just going to cut it off. And if you find it easier to use like an X-Acto knife you could do that. Um, I'm going to try with the scissors first. So let's see. Yeah, I think it'll be fine with the scissors. Mm -hmm. Like so. And like so. Okay, I wonder if this piece is big enough. Nope. Not big enough, not that lucky. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to do the other side real quick. Okay, so now we have the top and the bottom. And I think I'm going to tape this because this is driving me crazy. Let's see. Do I have clear tape? Yep. I have some packing tape, which looks like it is messed up, but that's okay. I only need a piece. Maybe. 
and I'm almost out. I need to get more. Let's see. Okay. Well, that's a little better. At least it'll stay down for me now. Okay. So, and then let's... For this, I probably do want to cut it out. Because it's just going to be easier. So... Let me measure. Let me get my ruler here. So, it is approximately... I'll do from here. A little more than seven and a half... Yeah, a little more than seven and a half, and then we have more than six and a half. So I'm going to go eight by, I think eight by seven should overlap nicely. Definitely eight. Let's do six and three fourths actually. So I'm going to read that down so I don't forget. I'm going to take these little scrap pieces. So eight by six and three quarters. Okay. So, and then this side doesn't matter which way the pattern goes. So I'm just going to start at any old side and just make a mark at eight. And on the other side, I will make a mark at six and three fourths. And I will use my cutter again. Right about there. Oops. And right about there. So now this should fit perfectly on here while still covering up some of the edges like that. And that's going to be cute. So that'll be our inside. I'm going to go ahead and cut the other piece real quick because we are going to have to do it to the back as well. So I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I went ahead and glued on the inside and then I did the exact same thing to the back because I did think you guys needed to watch the exact same process over again. But he is so cute so far. Look at him. Isn't that cool? I know I'm probably getting way too excited, but I think he is adorable. And he looks much nicer than that red composition style that we had going on a minute ago. But he's gorgeous. So the only thing that I don't like is how busy this is. And then it goes to this like transition I'd rather almost like block out so it, it looks more separated so what I have is I have one of these like paint pens and this is an old one so let me make sure that it works first oh no <laughs> I can't even open it okay there we go oh yeah that works okay and I'm going to get my ruler and just going to make a line to accentuate where the two different papers meet. Does that look better? That versus that. I don't know. I guess maybe it's just a personal preference, but I think it looks better. Just straighten out that line.
There we go. I like it. Is that the front? Yeah, that is the front. Let me make sure it's all dry before we close it. Let's do it to the other side. And there we go. That was it. And just adding that makes me a lot happier. So then the next thing, I'm gonna let that dry for a second, is I wanna add, add like an element to the cover. Um put it over here. So some things I pulled out and I'm not I'm honestly not sure what I'm using yet is I have some of these like wall decals that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I have this um, beautiful leaf, which I don't think will work out for the cover for this one. Um, I have these um, jumbo, what are these, sunflowers? These would be pretty. I got something on that one. Looks like paint or something. Um, that might be pretty. That's a possibility. And I have these feathers, which are gorgeous. Kind of remind me of galaxy uh, type stuff with like the white dots. Um, not too sure if it would work. Maybe, it might work. That's me. I have these beautiful girls um, that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. And there's a sticker attached. I like all my stickers in a bucket, so sometimes they like to stick to each other. Anyway, these girls are so cute. I got these a while ago, maybe a couple months ago at the Dollar Tree. Um, they would look really pretty, but I think it would make Pat look a little girly. You know what I mean? Which, again, this one's my favorite. Again, isn't a big deal you know, but I at least wanted the outside of him to look a little bit more either neutral or a little bit more guy-like, so probably not these guys, although they're gorgeous. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, and then I have these, um, like, kawaii-type, like, food stickers I thought would be really cute. So let's go to the front and flip through some of these. I have a mushroom, which I don't think red would go with the green. I have a cookie, a kiwi, an ice cream cone might be really cute. I might have to outline him though. I think he'd be cuter if he was outlined. We'll see. Um, I have the watermelon. He'd be cute. Uh, tomato and orange, I have a donut and an avocado, I think, an apple, an egg, a pear, he's cute, a piece of bread, <laughs> a heart, a piece of broccoli, broccoli is cute. Um, and that's it. So, I really like the pear. I think he's cute and the colors would match. And I like the ice cream, but like I said, I think I'd have to outline him. So I think I'm gonna put the pear on he, on, uh, here, on he. <laughs> um, and he will represent Pat. Oh no! Try that again. And again, these are also like wall decals or like the sticker uh, wall uh, wall stickers, I guess. Um, but they make great little additions to covers or even on the insides. Oh, look how cute he is! So I don't want them straight. I think like 
right there. Slift you back up. Make sure it's on straight. There, look how cute he is. So you can kind of see the paper um, behind him, but that's okay. I think he's really cute. I'm not sure if I want to add anything else to him, like around him. I mean, there's lots of these like little polka dots. Um, I don't know. You think? I think I'm just gonna leave it the way he is, and I think that's it. I think that's all I'm doing for the cover, guys. You know, I may add charms later on, you guys will see, but I think Pet is turning out so cute. Aww. I love him. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for going on this little uh, making of Fat Pat journey with me. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do enjoy, please leave me a like so that I know to make more videos with him. And um, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Uh, I would love to have you guys join on this journey with me. 2018, I really plan on trying to do a, at least a video a week. So please hold me to that because um, it, it is a big goal of mine because I love doing these. These are so much fun. Um, and it helps me personally expand on my art. So, but I hope you guys have a great day or evening and take care. Bye.